Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another technical overview of Black Square's TBM850. Today, we're going to talk about two completely new features added since the pre release version of this aircraft. Due to popular demand, Black Square turbine aircraft will now feature a more authentic implementation of power lever beta range and also completely new simulations of gas generator RPM and all engine temperatures. The Black Square aircraft have always been capable of hot starts and hung starts. However, the native turbine engine simulation has led to less than realistic results. Let's take a look at these new temperature dynamics by observing several different types of engine starts. Let's start by selecting the engine start page on the engine trend monitor. This page will show us the lowest observed bus voltage and the highest observed interstage turbine temperature once we've engaged the starter motor. The indicated voltage is far below the 25 volt nominal due to the large starting current required to get the gas generator spinning. If the voltage is much below 17 volts, you should consider terminating the start procedure. Increased internal resistance in the battery can be indicative of loss of battery capacity or health, which may no longer be sufficient to produce a high enough gas generator RPM for a cool start. Assuming the ITT is near ambient temperature, next we should watch the gas generator RPM closely. Although the checklist calls for a minimum of 13% NG before introducing fuel, best practices are to allow the NG to reach its maximum and stabilize before introducing fuel. To do any less is simply to subject the engine to higher than necessary internal temperatures during start. During moderate conditions, the ITT will likely peak and stabilize within the green arc, although starts within the yellow arc are permissible. Compared to the previous hot starting simulation, normal starts are much more gradual and cooler, while hot starts are more aggressive, just like in the real world. Now that we've had a successful start, let's turn off the starter motor and cut the fuel supply. We'll see the ITT decline rapidly, as there's no more fire in the combustion chamber. However, the hot components of the engine will continue to heat the air within it for quite some time. This residual heat can cause challenges during quick turnarounds, where it may become necessary to cool the engine before attempting another start. For this reason, it's best to park the aircraft facing into the wind whenever possible. The increased airflow through the engine will help cool it, and also promote cooler starts, as the gas generator doesn't have to overcome any back pressure. If you still have to cool the engine further, follow a dry motoring procedure by leaving the condition lever in the off position and running the starter motor until the gas generator pulls enough air through the engine to reduce temperatures below 150 degrees Celsius. If you still have time before reaching the 30 second starter limitation, you can attempt to start. This time we'll introduce fuel at 10% NG, below the required 13%. This will result in an uncomfortably hot start. Various combinations of the effects already described can also lead to hung starts, where the engine fails to accelerate towards its idle RPM. This is usually caused by low battery voltage or a starter motor failure during start. Combinations of high ambient temperature, tailwinds, and early fuel introduction can also lead to starts so hot that they immediately disable the engine, a several hundred thousand dollar mistake in real life. Should the ITT rapidly rise towards a hot start, instinctively move the condition lever to the off position to mitigate damage, and leave the starter motor running as long as possible to cool down the internals of the engine. Look for consistency from your engine during starting, and take caution anytime something doesn't look like you're used to seeing. Before we take to the skies, let's discuss the new beta range implementation. Beta has long been possible with Flight Simulator, though difficult to reconcile with external hardware. Most peripherals don't have any detents, or even a reverse range. 
For this reason, Black Square has chosen to have 0% throttle input correspond to full beta application. 15% throttle input corresponds to the flight idle gate, which can be programmed using third-party applications or with physical detents. The rest of the throttle range to 100% behaves normally. Reducing the throttle below the flight idle gate in the air will have no effect. Reverse is programmed natively and normally. For those who do not wish to concern themselves with this more realistic beta implementation, the throttle can be freely moved from 0 to 100% and the aircraft will behave as you're used to. The only noticeable difference will be a slight lag in propeller RPM when advancing the power lever from the beta range to the flight range. For those not familiar with the term beta, it refers to what is labeled in this aircraft as the taxi range of the power lever. Turboprops produce a significant amount of idle thrust, enough to accelerate the aircraft to 30 or 40 knots on the ground if left unchecked. Using the brakes to slow down the aircraft during taxi would have you purchasing brake pads in bulk. Instead, pull the power lever aft past the flight idle gate into the beta range. This reduces the propeller blade angle to near zero resulting in almost no thrust. Pulling the power lever further aft past another gate enters the reverse range, further reducing the blade angle into negative numbers for reverse thrust. This new beta range implementation can be used to precisely control taxi speed and also results in more accurate ITT, NG, and torque during all phases of flight. Now that we're in flight, we can discuss some of the parameters that have an effect on the new gas generator, ITT, and oil temperature simulation, chief among them being density altitude. Turbine pilots will be familiar with the incorrect default behavior where ITT decreases with altitude. Now density altitude has the correct effect on gas generator RPM and temperatures. ITT will increase with altitude as you approach the service ceiling of the aircraft and it becomes the limiting factor on engine performance, especially with hot temperatures aloft when the tropopause is high. When operating at high ambient temperatures, low airspeed, or high altitude, be aware that the following may serve to increase ITT and in combination may increase ITT beyond cruise limitations. Keep a keen eye on ITT when the inertial separator is on, electrical load is high, or the bleed air switch is in the high position. These items may also serve to increase peak ITT during engine start. I hope you've enjoyed learning about some of the brand new features in Black Square's TBM850, and you're looking forward to keeping good care of your virtual turbine engine soon. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.